laboratory, pharmacy, and x-ray department, robotic center, a VVIP clinic, a cardiothoracic training center, and an executive clinic among others. We now await the arrival of all signatories for this all-important function. Permit me to run you through the program of activities for this morning. With the arrival of our guests of honor, we would have the opening prayer by the clergy. We would have the remarks by the chief of the defense staff, remarks by our guest of honor, and then we will proceed to the all-important activity for this morning, which is the dedication and sword cutting. After that, we would have an opening prayer. Then, the guest of honor with some selected personalities would proceed to the boardroom for the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. And then, we would bring the program to an end. May I also announce that reception or refreshment will be at the officer's mess. Thank you very much. We pray for a successful ceremony this morning. Shall we please be upstanding as our guests of honor, the CDS, and our service chiefs join us for all this important ceremony. Shall we please be seated? Sir, you are most welcome. With the arrival of our guests of honor, the CDS and our service chiefs, all is set for this morning's ceremony. May I respectfully invite the chaplain, Reverend Major Noah Boahim, to give us an opening prayer. Shall we please be upstanding and pray? I lift up my eyes to the hills from where my help come. My help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our Lord and God, our creator and preserver, we give you praise and thanks for your goodness, which never fails. Our hearts are full of gratitude, the life of that you have given us and for the will and desire to serve you and your people. We acknowledge your presence with us this moment as we prepare to cut the soul for the building of a cardiothoracic center by Anabo Kanebia Japan. Grant to him all your grace and your providence and your manifold blessings of God. 
We say pray that Lord, you set apart this ground upon which we stand to honor and glorify your name. May what we do at this time please you. And may your spirit guide us as we seek to glorify you with the work of our hands. Let your spirit be upon and remain with us. All those that come to this place and within this world, let your glory dwell. We pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you very much, sir. Distinguished invited guests, we are gathered here this morning for the sword cutting ceremony for the construction of an 80 bed cardiothoracic center by Honorable Kennedy Ohini Ejapon. Honorable Kennedy Ohini Ejapon is the member of parliament for Asin Central and the chairman of the parliamentary select committee on defense and interior. The idea of this project was suggested to Honorable Kennedy Ejapon when he donated some COVID items to the hospital some time back. And in a discussion with the hospital command, he asked of the possibility of undertaking a project for the hospital. Honorable Ejapon bought into the idea suggested to him by the hospital command to put up a cardiothoracic center. It is for this reason we are gathered here this morning. The project when completed is a three-story and would contain an 80-bed capacity, three operating theaters, an ultra-modern reception, a cat laboratory, pharmacy and x-ray department, a robotic center, it would also contain a VVIP clinic, a cardiothoracic center, a training center, an executive clinic among others. May I respectfully invite the Chief of the Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, for his remarks. Shall we please, with a round of applause, welcome the CDS. Thank you, the MC, for detailing the, the cardio thoracic center that we are going to cut a sword this morning. The honorable member of parliament for Asin Central and chairman of parliamentary select committee on defense and interior Honorable Kennedy Ohini Ejapon, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, and the Chief of Air Staff, Directors General, especially the Director General Medical Services. Commander 37 Military Hospital, Commanding Officer 37 Military Hospital, Heads of Department of the Hospital, Directors, Chief Nursing Officer, Officers, Forces Sergeant Major, and other service Sergeant Majors, men, women, and civilian staff of the Ghana Armed Forces, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to you all. Good morning, sir. We are once again gathered here to observe another stride in building capacity of our hospital and healthcare delivery in general. It is it always gives me great pleasure when we have to come together for matters relating to health improvement. The ceremony we are observing this morning marks the first but most important step towards the construction of 
the state of the art cardiothoracic center it is a project which is of great significance to our healthcare. I am particularly pleased because upon its completion, we will have the honor and privilege of hosting a center which will in some ways be second to the Ghana National Cardiothoracic Center, but in several other ways in terms of facilities and equipment, it may be the first in the country. I think you deserve a round of applause. The center, when completed, will have the capacity to provide specialist diagnostic and treatment for people with cardiovascular and respiratory diseases. It will also offer training and research opportunities to our medical staff, both in Ghana and within the sub-region. I wish to recognize and appreciate the main sponsor of the project in the person of Honorable Kennedy Ohine Ejapon, the Member of Parliament for ASEAN Central and Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Defense and Interior. Honorable, your kind gesture has fully demonstrated your unflinching love for the people of Ghana and the Ghana Armed Forces in particular. It has also reinforced your determination to contribute to healthcare in general and in Ghana's development. The officers, the men, women, and civilian employees of the Ghana Armed Forces I am most grateful to you for choosing our facility for your benevolence. It is our fervent belief that this exemplary initiative will be emulated by other well-meaning Ghanaians and that will greatly augment our total effort at ensuring better health care for all Ghanaians. I want to assure you that Ghana Armed Forces will put in place the necessary measures required to ensure successful completion and utilization of the center. Distinguished personalities, you agree with me that a center of this status, when completed, will require well-trained and highly qualified specialists to manage. The center will become a white elephant if we fail to get this category of staff in time. I believe that the time to con the time to start considering the human resource aspect of the center is now. The requisite discussions for sponsorship for their training has commenced and is ongoing in consultation with the sponsor. To all stakeholders, I entreat you all to approach this project with positive and dedicated mentality required to see to its speedy conclusion, completion. We all stand to benefit from it in diverse ways. It is a project for us all, and I ask that we all own it. With everyone's support it is my belief that the project will be completed on schedule and in double quick time i want to conclude my remarks by thanking you all for your attention and i ask the good lord to richly bless us all Thank you very much, sir. May I respectfully invite our guest of honor, Honorable Kennedy Ohini Ejapong, for his remarks. Shall we please welcome him with a round of applause?
morning. Good morning. Men and men and women in uniform, civilian employees. I say good morning once again. Chief of Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, Service Chiefs, Directors General, Commander 37 Military Hospital, Commanding Officers 37 Military Hospital, Directors, Chief Nursing Officers, Officers, Forces Sergeant Major, Service Sergeant Majors, Men, Women, and Civilian employees of 37 Military Hospital, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to be part of this, part of the official groundbreaking ceremony of the construction of Cardiothoracic Center for the 37 Military Hospital. I am very happy for the attention the new intended project has received so far. My little research has revealed that only few countries in West Africa have the resources required to deliver optimum cardiac care to each people. This is based on the fact that cardiac surgery requires sophisticated diagnostic and surgical techniques, as well as high-level infrastructure created by the medical staff with advanced training and expertise. This manpower and infrastructure so required are unfortunately not available in most developing countries as a result of the high cost of diagnosis and treatment of heart diseases. The National Cardiothoracic Center has over the years served as a surgical hub for patients not only from Ghana but the whole of West Africa sub region. Research has further revealed that since relatively little can be done to reduce the incidence of congenital heart defects, a high number of persons will continue to require such prompt and reliable surgical interventions. You will agree with me that we have to be prepared to concentrate our efforts towards enhancing the country's capability capacity in that aspect of healthcare. These therefore inform my decision to contribute my quota in that regard. I chose the 37 military hospital because I have always had the burning desire to contribute significantly in strengthening your capacity to deliver. This is added to my close association with some of your staff as well as my admiration for your service delivery to all and sundry over the years. I, re I recognize your dedication to duty when you become the first point of call during disasters of all kinds. I believe that by strengthening your capacity, you all stand to benefit immensely from your professionalism. In as much as we always expect more from our health facilities, it is only fair to make sure we have all that required to deliver. I've always loved and respected medicine. I equally respect and appreciate all medical staff. I believe that by building your capacity, you'll be in a position to provide the best and reliable health care to all Guineans. I believe in your ability to provide service equal to what they offer abroad. Kindly permit me at this juncture to recognize the contribution of all health workers of your relentless fight in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Your enormous effort is a manifestation of your capabilities when given the right opportunity and the needed resources. I will request to use this platform to urge all medical staff to assume the right attitude to work and to continue to ensure 
you deliver on your mandate. I also wish to take this opportunity to call on all individuals, organizations, and corporate bodies to embrace the need to develop our healthcare systems. We can only get the best that we desire when we all contribute to strengthen the system. Cardiothoracic Center, when completed, will be a dedicated center with its own walls and will have, among other things, state-of-the-art operating theater, the intensive care unit, echocardiography services, a high dependency unit, a dedicated radiography unit, and cardiac catheter laboratories. I respectfully tax the contractor of the project to remain professional the construction of the center by adhering to the required quality standards. Let's have structures capable of standing the test of time. The Chief of Defense Staff, senior personalities, I must say that I am particularly impressed with the extent to which the Ghana Armed Forces has welcomed the idea of having the center and my intention to support this all important project. I have no doubt in my mind that with continued support from all stakeholders, the project will be delivered within schedule. Please be rest assured that this is just the beginning of better things to come. Once you continue to deliver your core duty of ensuring peace and security, greater heights will be achieved. Thank you, and God richly bless us all. Distinguished invited guests, Honorable Kennedy Ohini Ejapong would want to make a dedication, a presentation to the Ghana Armed Forces. It's the check for the construction of the cardiothoracic center. Chief of Defense Staff, Senior Personalities. I deem it again a great pleasure to be here this morning to give this presentation to the Chief of Defense Staff for the construction of the Cardio Director Center. This is my commitment to show that deeds are not words. So I give 1.2 million Ghana cities advance to the contractor to start immediately. And my faith I have in the military, I know they will put the contractor in check and subvise for us to deliver it within a year. I am committed and therefore the Chief of Defense Staff Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable. We have now come to the most important reason
for our gathering here. May I once again respectfully invite our guest of honor, the chief of the defense staff, service chiefs, the director general medical